Welcome to the Webby and O'Neill channel. With us tonight, legend, centre half, Gary Pallister, proper, proper man's man. <laughs> yeah, looking at the honours, Gary, thanks for coming tonight. Ten major honours, four league titles. Obviously, me and Tony was there at the height of the of your great centre half, and we could do with you now. <laughs> Seems to be a massive talk and a point at the moment, doesn't it? Being oh. centre halves at Man United, but yeah. you've walked into it right at the height of the centre half debate, Gary. Yeah, yeah. No, listen. I mean, you know, I've come from a big fee, um, albeit it was only two point three million, which seems like bird feed nowadays. But um, you know, I understand what uh, Harry's Harry's going through a little bit. Um, you know, he's had the, the the problems on his holidays, come back, his forms. Um, being di dissected by everybody, it seems at the moment, and he's gone from being a fantastic England centre half and captain of Manchester United and, and, and a, a fantastic player, all of a sudden he seems to be the uh, the number one target for a lot of the media now. So I've got a lot of sympathy for for Harry. Um, I, I don't know where his head is at the moment. Um, you know, it was it was unlike Harry to commit them kind of fouls the other night when before he got sent off. I think with the actual sending off, I think that tackle is a little bit unlucky because he plays the ball as a pass and his foot follows through. I don't think he's went to, to hurt the lad. I think he's been a bit unfortunate. Like the first one, the first tackle, yeah, I can, yeah, I can say what were you, what were you thinking so early in the game? But uh, yeah, I've got sympathy for him. I've been there, I've been through that, and um, when everybody's struggling. looking for you, it's 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 tough. And I look at Harry Maguire and I go, he's he's the ideal guy for the for the for the armband. I think he's the only real. Um, I'm not putting him in a category of a Steve Bruce, a Brian Robson, a Roy Keane, but I look at the at the guys who've got at the club, and uh, you're looking for real leaders. There isn't a lot of them there, um, but I think Harry, out of all of them, probably does deserve the armband. Yeah, he's had a tough time, but the whole team has. Are the other centre halves good enough going forward with this club to not just help Maguire but to partner him? <sighs> Listen, um, Lindelof came in in that back end of of last season um, and maybe the start. Of the, I mean, it was because it was all over the place the season last year, wasn't it? Yeah. I think Lindelof had started to grow into his into his role as centre half alongside Harry. We had a pretty good defensive 14, record, fifteen game run there at, 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 at that point, and and things were looking great. Um, you know, Victor's. Maybe looked a little bit suspect at the start of the season. <laughs> As I'm saying, I'm not pointing just a finger at him. Um, you know, we've we've looked suspect all over the all over the pitch. We bring in Eric Bailly for the um, for the uh, the game against Spurs. He didn't. He looked a bit unsure. That's his first game in, in apart from playing League Cup games. That's his first game in the Premier League for a while. Um, you're looking. Somebody's looking to nail down that spot. But you know, we, we we a lot of people, myself included, maybe you know, said we need. Uh, another dominant centre half to go in there, and um, you know we we've not been able to get that over the line and bring that kind of signing in. So we're left with you know with with the lads fighting for this space to play alongside Harry. I was a very big span, fan of Chris Smalley. You know, if yeah. we looked at the Palace game, Gary, we, the first goal Lindelof gets done by pace. Smalley had abundance of pace. Was, was you shocked that he never got a chance? Because I was shocked a lot. United fans. Um, how he got bombed out to Roma and he looked a million dollars over there. Yeah, I mean, it suited him uh, over there. Um, and yet you would think, I mean, one of the things that was aimed at, that Chris maybe is wasn't, he wasn't that comfortable on the ball. And that's the, the kind of style of football that Ollie wants to play. He wants to play out from the back. He's given it the centre halves in the penalty box and they want to play out. I, I could, I sort of Man City and Liverpool and. Mm. In the way everybody seems to want to play nowadays, and maybe that was why he looked at Chris and thought, you know, I mean, it, I think the decision on Chris and 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 maybe Phil was made made a while back, yeah. and they decided that the, that you know, I mean, they wouldn't be using them, um, and and Chris is he, he's fair play with him. He's went across there and he's embraced the lifestyle, and he's and, and he's got the move that he that he probably wants. That, uh, yeah, I think he would, you know, he's an England centre half, so he, he's a decent centre half. But um, you know, Ollie's Ollie's looked at it a different way. Yeah. I, I, just going back on a partnership because, like, every team has partnerships, and that's how you, you go forward in that. Yours and Steve Bruce's partnership. 
how was that? How did it? How did you both gel together? Because when I watch you, me and Webby have spoke about it before. What a partnership it was! It was like two warriors. You knew your role; he knew his. And basically, you know, Bruce was the man what put his face in front of it. You <laughs> that's know, right, he's, he's got an one, old. Like, that's that right. Him. He's yeah. the one what got yeah, he, oh, the boot yeah. in the face yeah, and that. I mean, and you was yeah. there. Let's let's go. They compared it like. Rio and, yeah. and the Mania, didn't yeah. they? You know yeah. I mean? It was very, very similar. Oh, one was more work. aggressive than the yeah. other. Yeah. You know, Rio sort of played off of off Nemanja. And I played I kind of played off off Brucey. Yeah. But it you know, and Rio will tell you it was great to have somebody like that alongside you. Yeah. A talker as well, somebody who's putting his body on the line. It's yeah. great to feed off something like that. Yeah. Um but you know, I, I look back to my partnership with Brucey. When I first came in here, it was all over the place. I came from a team that played deep. At Middlesbrough, yeah. So come here at Old Trafford, where they were trying to play a hard line, a high line, and offside. And I remember the first game I think I played with Steve. Not, not he was running forward. Like, I don't, I don't know if Steve played against Norwich. I'm not sure if he did. I know he missed the the Derby game a week later after me de- uh, after me debut, and he missed. He didn't play in the in the five one demolition. Um, but I remember the first. I can't remember which game it was. The first time I played with him, he ran up to play offside, and I was 20 yards behind him. And he's, you know, he's looking at Tony Adams like that, and he's looking at me and going, "Oh my God!" And I was like, "Wow," because we, we didn't have time to yeah. really um, get together on the training pitch and 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 and, and sort it out between us. So it took a wee bit of time after that. For, I had to adapt to to the way Steve played and the Manchester United way. Um, but we were lucky because um, we very rarely got injured. And then first few years yeah, between yeah. myself and Steve, we very rarely missed the game. So we developed that part. In fact, the whole back four, yeah. you know, we, once we brought Dennis in, Paul Parker, um, and then, you know, eventually big, big Schmeichs came in as well. Um, that was, a, that was a, a back four, back five that played together an awful lot. So we got to know each other's game. We got the understanding between a lot of us. And, and I think that's something that, you know, has, has probably been missing over, over quite a while now. We've got a, a comment here, Gary. I don't know if you know the answer. We're just going to get it from the iPad now. Once Kieran brings it over to yeah. you, pal. The question comes from. It comes from Ted. He asked, "Do you know you hold a Premier League record, and it still stands to this day?" Premier League record for what? Well, obviously you don't know. Oh, uh, no, and these not appearances in, in one season, is it? It's a record. The first player to win a Premier League title to play every minute of that season, and it still stands now. Ray, I know. Well, Harry played every minute of every game last season. Well, would not to win a Premier League title. title. I didn't rate Ray. Yeah, I know. There's only been a few players that have actually played every minute of every season. Yeah. But I think well, so the title, the year, only when you. I the year I won it, I think we played 42 games, did we not? Correct. Yes. And I think they're doing it now 38, so that record can't be beaten. Well, and you scored as well. <laughs> so that's and, and you scored, scored as well. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I never got a chance to take one after that. Can you believe that? No. I mean, after that, I smashed it in the bottom. Why Stretch can I get another free last kick? Last minute, first yeah. Premiership title, first title for 26 years. Only player who hadn't scored that season. Trying to break that hoodoo of not winning the league. Now we went 26 years. Now as a fan, right, going through that period and that era. Like, it was unbelievable, unbelievable mm. to finally get that league. What was it like that week when you finally won the league? I mean, the night you're here against Blackburn, um, that is the best I can ever remember all yeah. traffic. The, the, whole, the whole atmosphere that night, you just wanted to bottle it and be able to take a suck from it every yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Or yeah. Not every morning, every day, yeah. but whenever you felt a little bit down yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. Because walking in here that night um, was incredible. You could feel the relief of the fans, the passion, the excitement, the joy. It was a mixture of so many things. Do you know, as you say, after 26 years of yeah. pain, the release, the cop, and yeah. everything just came out. You yeah. know what I mean? All that yeah. frustration was, what, what, was what, thrown what was, away. What was it like? Because the obviously the ground was completely different than it is now. Could you feel it coming on you on the pitch when you come out? That the, the crowd, with yeah. the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. As I say, absolutely. I mean, I, I've, I've spoken to Robbo about, it, and he talks about the Barcelona night when they were two yeah, down and one there, three yeah, two. Yeah. He said that was. Yeah, yeah. He said that was the feeling yeah. in the stadium that night was incredible. Yeah. I never experienced that. That yeah. for me, that night against Blackburn, I've never 
experienced a, a stadium like that in, in all my life. Yeah. It was it, it's just the sheer relief. I mean, 26 years for a club the size of Manchester United, yeah, yeah. never to win a title. Yeah. It was like the shackles were off. It was like unbridled joy. It was yeah, just, yeah. and a big part of that, you, you felt proud as players that you could give that feeling yeah. to the to the fans as well. You know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah, yeah. you yeah. felt their pain. We went through the experience of getting so close, yeah, yeah. so close the year before against oh, Leeds, before the and it haven't snatched away because we had to play four games in yeah. in, in seven days, yeah. and 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 we lost it. In, in that week to to get over the line after all that and the 26 years was wow well, Look, you know, looking at it there Gary obviously Oldham had beat Villa on the Sunday yeah. we all watched a match tell us about Bruce's party and what time you left because <laughs> I can always remember the next day watching a video yeah, on the yeah, sky yeah. of the yeah. manager going around the dressing room he was all half asleep yeah 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 well he was meeting us all and he, and he used to meet in the old grill room yes and um he was there because he told us not to watch the game. He said, yeah. didn't want to expend an energy and, you know what I mean? Got, obviously, everybody did. But uh, when, he, when he met us there, he was, coming, he, he was shaking our hands and we were all like knackered. We were all hung over, all, yeah, yeah. Like, feeling a bit, you know what I mean? Not, not perky to say the least. So he was shaking us by the hand and just going, oh my God, how the hell are we going to win this game tonight? <laughs> you know what I mean? But listen, the, yeah. the, the hard work had been done. Um, he was quite jovial about it, obviously. Um, but he, he he was desperate for us to go out that night and win the game yeah. as well. He wanted us to finish on a uh, on a real high. Even the Wimbledon game after that, yeah. um, he wanted us to win that game as well. So um, no, it, it it was great to see that the manager so happy. It was great to be involved with the players that were there, and uh, as I said, to share it with the fans that night was was pretty special. This is a man who is a legend. And still feels that night the best night. It's oh, an unbelievable well, yeah. night, and yeah. it was for a lot of us. Yeah. Also, yeah. oh no, for everyone, we waited, no, for everyone involved, and waited, yeah. and waited, and to lose it at Anfield the year before. Yeah. I remember driving home from Anfield and being absolutely gutted yeah. Yeah. that Leeds had yeah. won the league, and then yeah. everything happens, yeah. and it comes, and yeah. we do this, well, and Gary scores a free kick, and so I went out. Tony bought the beer. Oh. It was a great night. <laughs> <laughs> never happened again, folks. I'm surprised did you didn't night. get into the party afterwards, well, to be fair. Well, I've actually got a story for that night, but I can never tell you. Now, Gary. I'll be asking you after, off been, screen, been off absolute, camera. Been an absolute pleasure. We want your comments, put your likes, put your dislikes, and thank you, Gary. Absolute pleasure. Cheers, Abby. boys. Thank you. thank you. Watch more videos here. Please subscribe to the channel here. And please leave all comments down below, please.